Hello, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom, and I'm Tom, and Kay's in yonder somewhere, and it's not we're going to be cooking up some wings in the air fryer here, and we're going to use the New Wave Brio 10 quart air fryer tonight. And so we've got 22 of these pieces in here. We've got the, the flats and the drumettes. And so I don't wash them a couple times. I'm just going to rinse them off with another time. Just, all I'm going to do is just rinse these things. Because like I said, I already washed them a couple times. Drain the water off of them. I'm going to take a couple of paper towels and lay them down here. Okay, now I'm going to lay them on these uh, paper towels here so they can get dried off a little bit. Like I said, I've got 22 total, counting the drumettes and the flats. I'm just laying them on here so I can get them dried a little bit. All right, somebody will get me wrong. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. Looks like twenty-two to me. So now I'm going to dry these off and then I'm going to put them in this other bowl. Okay, now I've got them all pretty well dried. So put them back in this bowl here, this other bowl clean bowl. Okay, now I'm going to put about two teaspoons of uh, olive oil in here on this uh, chicken. And I'm going to take one hand, I'm going to try to keep one hand dry. I'm going to take this hand here and sort of mush them all around. You know, I'm still going to have to change gloves though because I've got to use my pepper grinder so I oh, still gotta get another glove on. So now I got them all nice and oily. Okay now I'm gonna put some pepper on it. Now you just do the salt and pepper to taste, you know. Some people don't like a lot of salt and pepper. I like a lot of pepper, but I don't like much salt, so. Uh, now I'm going to take this oregano here, this McCormick's oregano, oregano leaves. Sprinkle some on it. Now y'all don't see about how much I'm sprinkling on there. Now I'm going to take this, uh, this is real good stuff here. I like this. This is uh, all-purpose chicken seasoning by Lowry's. And it is real good. And then we'll take some uh, Mrs. Dash here, salt-free Mrs. Dash. We'll put some of that in there. Ooh, can't get too much Mr. Dash, that's good stuff. Now we'll mix it all up again. Okay, now we've got all that done. Now we'll move over here to the uh, Counter where I've got this 10 quart uh, Rio air fryer at. Okay, so now we'll start putting them down this basket here. And after I get them in here, I'll show you better what I'm talking about. That's what I like about having a big capacity uh, basket like this uh, Rio air fryer here because you can uh, you can put more in it.
Okay, and there they are down in there. I guess you can see most of them is there's 22 of them there. So now, the next thing we'll do, we got to shut the door on this Brio uh, 10 core air fryer here, and this you've got a little button right here. Right there, it's just got to pull out, and you need to hold this lid. You can't pull it out and just let it fall. You got to pull that button out and hold this lid and let it down easy. Well, I finally figured out the easy way to do that. You take your thumb and hold it behind it here. And I know you can't see nothing except my shirt there. But you put your thumb against that and pull it out with your fingers. And see, even at that, it's trying to twist with me. So now, we'll come up here and turn on the power. Now it's got 15 minutes, and that's just about exactly what I want, and I don't think it's going to quite take that long. So now we'll hit the start button. And there it goes. Now the neat thing about this Brio 10-quart uh, air fryer is, I know you can see right here, you see that little glass there? You can see in there and see what's going on down in there at the same time it's cooking. So, you get a little idea. Well, I've got a, well, I've got a second. If y'all can, join my channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much, all you people, for joining my channel. And, by the way, and while we're at it, if you see anything that you like in my videos, you can find them in the link down below. So check them out. We'll be back in a couple minutes here. Okay, now this chicken has been going here for about six or seven minutes. So I'll sort of lost track of time. So I'm going to raise the lid and take a look at it. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. It's time for me to turn it over. I know that. I'm going to take my tongs here and just move them around a little bit. I'm not really going to pay much attention to turning them over. I just want to move them. Here I'm sizzling a little bit down here. Uh, now, and now for that tricky thing I was telling you about, I'm gonna see if I can't get you where I show you a little bit better this time about pulling that knob. And you gotta be careful with it because you can get burned if you're not careful. But you gotta take your thumb like this and push in on it, or pull out on the handle and push in on the, on the uh, side of it and just let it down easy. And it'll start right back up. Now, I don't know if you can see that still, but it's right there. Right there. And it gets warm too. So be aware of that. So we'll be back in a minute. This minute I'll familiarize you with this uh, new wave Brio 10 quart uh, air fryer. Is That's your on and off button and you got a delay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I need to pry, uh, read up on this a little bit more, I guess. And you got a pause and castle and then you got your cook temp and your uh, cook temp and cook time. And then you start it after you set the time. Now when you set the cook temp and time, you press that button and you come over here and go plus or minus until you get to what you want. And then over here you got a rotisserie. Now this thing does have a rotisserie with it. And I think it works pretty good from what I've seen from other people. Now it's got your keep warm of course and it's got preheat. You got stage, whatever that might be. And it's got program and it's got sear. So. It's got a lot of options up there. You know, you just have to get used to using it. The neatest thing about this one is you can look in there and see that stuff going around. Or not going around, but <laughs> you can see what's, what's happening to it. You can see it cooking. So that's pretty neat too. Okay, now we're down to about 12 seconds left on this thing 
And I've had to add time to it. Now I added 10 minutes to it, so that makes the total uh, cook time 25 minutes. And I've been checking them, so I'm paused, about paused if they're de that they're finished this time. So we're going to raise the lid. Uh, they look pretty good now. Let me raise it up so you can see here. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get some out. Okay, now let me see if I can get into one of these and make sure it's getting done. I don't want no raw chicken. Oh yeah, it's done through and through. Well, like I say, I added time to it. So, total cook time. 25 minutes on this and it's not too hot to pick up which about is <laughs> I'm try to get a bite of it here there we go now that looks pretty good hmm that is good That's the preview of this, uh, or that's the way you cook wings. That's Brio, uh, New Wave Brio 10 quart air fryer here. Now, I've got this other tripod fixed up here. Let me see if I can show you this lever back here you need to pull and set down without hurting yourself. This button right here. Take your thumb and put it on there like that. Hold this up a little bit. Pull it out. Let it down. Just like that. And that takes some practice. So you need to practice with it when it's cold. And then when you get ready to cook, you'll know just to put your thumb back here, pull it, push on it, pull this, pull this handle out. And you'll be set. So until next time, hope you enjoyed my little video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Hope you come back to see me real soon. Although I hope to have another video for you real soon. So thanks again for watching. Y'all have a good day now. Goodbye.